peace, peace. Man, happy now. Now's a vibrate, of course. <laughs> We're not going too far in the future. We're not going too far in the past. <laughs> right now. Shiva Lingam is what we're going to be talking about right now. Got a little Shiva Lingam right here. Matter of fact, with my little Pacing Diamond. Like a Herkima Diamond for Arizona, but got the Shiva Lingam. And, uh, like right now is a very great time to be working with the Shiva Lingam. We're going to go over a few little aspects of the energies of it, you know. Uh, for one, you know, Shiva Lingam, you know, coming from, uh, you know, it's connected with the god Shiva. You know, uh, Shiva is the, the destroyer aspect of, you know, of the god in essence, you know, like generator, operator, destroyer, god. The generator aspect is uh, Brahman and Sarasvati, you know, which that's, uh, you see the correlation in, in like Brahman and Abraham and Sarasvati, Sarah, Abraham and Sarah, you know. Uh, operator is uh, Vishnu and Lakshmi and then the destroyer is Durgaya or Kali or Shakti you know and Shiva you know but basically uh, and Lingam stands for Lingam is Sanskrit for the word symbol so basically the Shiva Lingam is the Shiva symbol you know and also the, the, the Shiva Lingam is a representation of the Yoni and the Phallus you know the the feminine uh, aspect as well as the masculine aspect on the uh, you know and two when we speak on sex and sexual energy you know it, it, it's more than just the aspect of two people physically having sex you know again manifestation is sex you know what I'm saying where you know the, the, the feminine aspect of a uh, how can I say? Like, is it, it, a feminine aspect of magnetism involved in, in manifestation and then a, a masculine aspect of being, you know, taking action. And when that magnetism and that, that action, you know, comes together, you know, like on a sexual level, it, it produces something, you know, it reproduces a certain, you know, something in the physical, you know. But, you know, again, it's sex all, uh, you know, all over every aspect of uh, you know what we deal with. Uh, I get into a few little aspects of Shiva Lingam. It promotes uh, it increased vitality and prana. And matter of fact, I think about it as much like a uh, like a tiger's eye because it's good for your overall well-being and health due to that that chi and prana uh, you know amplification. You know that chi energy you know moving through the nadis and meridians you know as above so below. In essence, like the chi energy or, you know, uh, well, you could, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, the chi energy for this plane of existence called earth, you know what I'm saying? This uh, earthly body, you know, has little ley lines or aka nadis and meridians, you know, within this body that has little, you know, chi energy flowing through it. That's why, you know, certain cities or major cities are built where they are because they're built on, you know, strong ley lines, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no coincidence with cities being where they are, you know, they're like, especially state capitals, quote unquote, state capitals of certain states, you know, is going to be on a strong ley line, you know, but the, the Shiva Lingam again helps with that flow of chi energy. So it helps with well-being and health, like kind of give you that vitality. If you're looking for that vibe of just always having that energy to do something, whether it's mentally or physically, because, you know, sometimes we have that vibe of like, feeling like oh man I don't feel like reading or working on this oh man I don't feel like going and do this you know or, you know like we basically that's just a, a lack of chi as much as because of course we could say well yeah if I'm feeling tired then it's meant to be yeah to some extent you know what I'm saying uh you know it, w whenever you are what you are it is what it is and you have to accept that in that moment you know but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the norm for you, you know what I'm saying? To always feel like, oh man, I don't feel like doing this. Or, you know, nah, that's a lack of chi. And at some point, you know, you will wanna, you know, uh, start seeing and looking into ways to make sure the chi flow, you know, is, uh, is moving. The Shiva Lingam also promotes conscious breathing. 
you know so as, as you're working with it it kind of just promotes you to be in that mode of just constantly breathing because matter of fact as you breathe that's what stimulates the kundalini you know that sexual shiva shakti energy you know that 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 prime body or mother like you know uh you know shakti uh energy the, the feminine because as a whole you know for the most part the kundalini is more so like a primordial feminine energy you know and that points back to medusa and you know why they put, put uh you know depicted <laughs> depicted medusa how she was you know with the snakes coming out of her head the snakes the kundalini you know matter of fact shout out to uh the brethren with the channel lifting the veil because he 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 uh he had some little drip drop come through on the vibe of like you know showing how the snake when a snake opens his mouth you know it looks like the yoni or the you know the vagina and then the snake whole body is like a phallus and then the whole aspect of like the aura the uh what it is the aura boris you know with the snake chasing his tail you know it, that that symbol within itself not only representing the aspect of god being internal but also like uh in, in some form or fashion god being internal a source being internal through you know the sexual connection you know because that mouth like the vagina swallowing the tail you know the phallus and the, the vagina you know and matter of fact uh yeah so so with the conscious breathing you know you you stimulate <laughs> oh, damn well, that's getting strong you stimulate your, <laughs> your kundalini energy you know that that sexual energy you know and helping for that uh that, that Christ seed to raise up the spine but uh oh yeah you got that and then uh, it also embodies du duality and unity so Shiva Lingam helps for us to see individuality as well as the connection to all and, and like right now that's why this this crystal is uh you know very important because again that connection with vitality and prana you know to increase that that energy because like right now you know it's, it's not the time to be being a couch potato you know what i'm saying like it's the time and i that doesn't mean forcefully being overly active but you know we're going to be taking action right now so you you know it would uh behoove you <laughs> to make sure you're vital and you know have that pranic energy and also you know it's important for us to to understand the aspect of duality and unity and uh and uh you know see the aspect of us you know embodying our unique vibrational signature you know our, our unique soul spark our unique uh individuality but as well as realizing everything is interconnected i always use the analogy of the body you know what i'm saying like you know the stomach is different from the liver the liver different from the heart the heart different from the lungs the red blood cell different from the white blood cell the the iris of my eye made out of something different than the hair follicles but at the end of the day you know all those different unique aspects comes together to make this beautiful body you know what i'm saying and it's through it's through the balance of being their unique selves but at the same time you know realizing their interconnectedness and how they're all interconnected you know the liver heart all this realizes hey as much as i got an individual task to take care of you know i don't want to get into my ego to a place of feeling like I'm more important than the ne next uh, organ in the body, you know, in an organ like making music, you know, an organ, beautiful music, you know, in the universe, the one verse, you know, uh, vibrations is, you know, that's the music, but, you know, it helps with that by uh, also working with it, I, I, uh, from my own experience, I, I realized like if you like basically you get a lot of downloads about sacred geometry dealing with like the lingam and the yoni and basically uh its connection with the with the kundalini serpent and the primordial mother and shakti sexual energy so by working with this crystal like you're you're going to receive more downloads dealing with this information you know with the the primal mother shakti uh energy that sexual energy you know uh the kundalini serpent you know which is all connected you know and the lingam and the yoni and the sacred geometry behind it you know you're going to find yourself like when you start working with shiva lingam you're either going to find yourself you know either catching straight up clear cognizant thoughts about it or you know meeting up with people who's well versed on this information or you know uh, gravitating or coming across uh videos that speak to this information but you know you're gonna uh definitely again 
because you're in that realm of reality. So how I made that video about the Shungite, like these in like these crystals are like a little being, and, and it has its own little orb or its little its own world, you know. Because remember, the tourist field, you know, spins like a little tornado, like a little whirlpool, you know. Yeah, you know when you letting the the water out the bathtub, and then that little tornado by the drain start, you know that that's like our tourist field, that world, you know what I'm saying going to a different world so when you're dealing with that that shiva lingam you in that that world of that shiva lingam so it's going to introduce you to its world you know what i'm saying and so many you know so many words <laughs> it also prom promotes a com comfortability with your sexuality uh allows for you to be at peace with the fact that you uh you know that our spiritual being and physical being are connected with the creation of force of sex you know so it allows for you to be comfortable in your sexuality and be at peace with the fact that you know your spiritual being and physical being are both connected with the creational force of sex and again physical and spiritual so it's not just a physical and it's not just a spiritual thing you know what i'm saying it's you know uh interconnected again it, it allows for us to see you know uh dual aspects in connection with the unity again like allowing for us to see our individuality and 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 also to see you know the importance of the lesson learning from duality you know uh and that experience you know also uh being able to see all the sexual relations within all of existence so again kind of like we're just going to pr promote these downloads of where you're just going to see how the the feminine the basically the feminine and masculine aspect you you're going to be catching how it plays out in all aspects of, of life you know what i'm saying like like just simple as like the plug in the socket you know what i'm saying you're gonna be looking at the plug in the socket and be like oh <laughs> excuse me you know just kind of peeping the vibes of the masculine and feminine like say for instance the uh the off and on sign let me see oh it's kind of off but you know, you're just gonna be realizing all the little aspects, you know. Like I, I'm showing, like you might see this symbol, you know. So when you see all these lines and curves, and again all these different aspects, you're gonna see it for what it is. Like, all right, that's a representation of the masculine and feminine energy. Cause you know, the on button on your computer or on anything, you know, is the line and the curve, you know, or the phallus going into the the yoni, you know what I'm saying? Turning it on, you know what I'm saying? You press this button right here, that's going to create something, you know what I'm saying? That's going to turn something on, you know what I'm saying? Literally and figuratively speaking, you know what I'm saying? It's going to turn on some things when that phallus and that yoni come together, you know? But you're, you're just going to be seeing all the different little sexual relations within, you know? Like, you're going to see how, you know, again, like with writing words, you're going to see, like, matter of fact, how I brought up, like, how the runes, you know, the letters called runes are drawn in a, uh, it has a masculine energy to it, you know? Cause it's drawn with uh, straight lines compared to like uh, other letters. You know, just show you right quick the little room. So uh, other letters are, uh, you know, might have more curves, so more of a feminine energy. But again, it's just basically, you know, working with the Shiva Lingam is just gonna allow for you to see the the masculine and feminine aspects in all different aspects of life. You know what I'm saying? Just like how you see, you know, a, a you know, a fruit. And, you know, you look at when you cut the fruit and you see like the core part, it almost looks like a yoni. You know, like you're gonna just be being able to pick up on all these different aspects and, and draw the correlations and see how all this, you know, is related, how the sexual energy moves throughout again, all aspects of our being, you know, from physical to non physical. You know, matter of fact, I even put like a straw in the water, you know, like realizing like, you know, the water, you know, the feminine aspect, you know, uh, being open to receive and, and the straw going in the water, you know what I'm saying? Like all those uh, aspects you're gonna, uh, you know, basically catch. As a matter of fact, uh, the Shiva Lingam uh, origin is from the Narmada River in Western India. And basically, uh, Shiva Lingam is basically quartz with a, a high level of sediment from that river. So it kind of embodies the energy of that area, you know. And in, and in, uh, in India, you know, which was once the the area of the uh, you know the Kush Empire, the Kush Empire stretching from uh, you know the Horn of, of Africa to uh, <laughs> you know to the uh, to basically uh, 
almost to Anchor Watt in essence, you know, like that Cambodia, Anchor Watt vibe. But, you know, the with, with, with the, uh, what I was gonna say, with the Shiva Lingam and having that sediment from the river, you know, it's gonna body the energy from that land strongly. And again, with the quartz, quartz amplifies energies, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and the shape of it, you know, which they naturally kind of come in that shape and then they kind of get polished off or whatever. But, you know, it's basically quartz with a high level of uh, sediment for the river. So with that quartz being said, that's why Shiva Lingam is also good with uh, promoting a connection with higher self and with the crown chakra. So uh, basically, as a matter of fact, in essence, you know, like basically promoting the microcosmic orbit, uh, like with our breath, like when we're breathing, again, like, cause it promotes conscious breathing. And then when we conscious breathe, you know, that energy moves from the root chakra up to the crown. And then on the exhale, it moves from the crown down back to the root chakra, you know. And matter of fact, on the as above, so below microcosm type of vibe, you can see your one breath, like that going up and going down is basically like going through uh, one cycle or one, you know, like how we going through the Kali Yuga, all these different ages, like you got the golden age, or, you know, the, the, the brass age or the bronze age, the tent, you know what I'm saying? You got the, you know, the Kali Yuga and all the different vibes, you know, that, that, that breath is like, you know, and picture the root chakra being like the earth plane where, you know, when you take that breath, you know, those, those high vibrational beings kind of move away from the root chakra for, you know, for so many long, that, 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 that strong high vibrational energy, that non-ego, straight primordial energy, you know, moves away from the root chakra. When it moves away from the root chakra, you know, the root chakra kind of get into a place of, you know, getting a little lower vibrational because that presence of that, that energy not really there, you know, in that moment. And then, you know, on the breath, uh, the exhale, you know, that energy coming back down to that earthly plane or that root chakra, you know, in order to liberate, you know, those energies in the root chakra, you know, again, it's a cycle, never in the cycle. And that's, you know, for the most part, as above, so below, it, it wouldn't be far-fetched to say, you know, when we're going through these cycles, you know, we're going through a vibe of a, uh, you know, a breath of a uh, source, you know, like, like the bigger body that we in is taking a breath. And also our existence is basically like, uh, you know, we talk about being in the world, you know, but it's basically cycling in and out of a, a tourist field. I made this analogy on videos too. I'm not gonna go too far, but you know, uh, since we're on the vibe of uh, the sexual energy and all these connections with the Shiva Lingam, but you know, the Taurus field, which also look like a breast and, and, and a butt. <laughs> a sacred geometry, blessings to the queens. With, uh, with the, the beautiful, you know, the beautiful sacred geometry of all queens. But the Taurus field, you know, and it also moves like a figure eight, like what we go through it, you know, and when we're inside the Taurus field, we're closer to, you know, that, that source energy. Because matter of fact, think about within our own being, in the middle of our Taurus field, it's like close to our spine and our chakras and our, you know, and our, you know, and, and matter of fact, our pineal gland, along with a few other little uh, body uh, or organs uh, that I can't really recall, but like the pineal gland, and matter of fact, the pineal gland is an organ and not a gland. Uh, check out Layla Africa videos to go deeper into that. I don't wanna act like I'm the, uh, you know, the person to, to, to to speak on that, like the advocate for that information in that sense in so many words, but you know, now I was supposed to use another word other than advocate, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but again, being in the middle of that Taurus field, you know, we're closer to that source energy, but then when you get out of the, you know, like you further out into your Taurus field, you know what I'm saying, and you know, you're not as close to your, you know, your, you know, your center. And, and that's when we go through these ages, you know, like right now we, we, we getting back to that vibe of, uh, you know, getting closer to that source energy, but you know, it's like figuring eight, like, you know, like flowing out here. And then when you out here, that's the age where we kind of, you know, uh, not in the sunken place, but you know, we kind of live far away from the, you know, from the spine or from that eye, you know, that, that peaceful, you know, uh, inner or connection with the, uh, you know, with our inner source. And we come back, you know, and it's, it's like, never ending cycle <laughs> never ending story you know
know, cycling through the tourist field. But, uh, yeah, so the, the, uh, <laughs> the Shiva Lingam promotes the connection with high self and stimulating the crown chakra and also uh, amplifying that universal mind and that collective conscious, like you can feel that connection to all, you know, after working with the Shiva Lingam uh, as well. And again, also promoting the activation of the Kundalini energy, you know, and uh, again, you know, the Kundalini and the Kundalini, you know, also like little wavelengths, you know. Going up a line, you know, a little sine wave going one way, a sine wave, you know. Shiva Shakti, yin and yang, Ida and Pangala, you know. The, uh, you know, in a personification of it, the two, uh, the two guys on the side of, uh, of Jesus <laughs> in the story, you know, uh, in the Bible, you know, where he was getting crucified, you know, that was the, the positive and negative uh, energies on side of him. Cause one was like, you know, if you, if you the uh, God, you know, then why don't you save us and take yourself down from this cross and save us? You know, have that negative energy speaking. And then the other person that was uh, being crucified, like, hey man, just let that, man, leave that brethren alone. You know what I'm saying? Like on some, you know, like the positive voice. Uh, also, Shiva Lingam strengthens the connection with the physical body and lower chakras, helping us to feel more present in our physical body, you know. And so that's a great vibe for, you know, uh, those of us who kind of have that vibe of, you know, this world, not my home. And, you know, uh, you know, just feeling floaty and always feeling like you don't want to be on this plane of existence and things of this nature, you know. Because, again, you're here for a reason. And, you know, I'm even starting to get little vibes of like maybe this world might be home and, and when we say this world is not our home it's more so this world is not our home and the state the vibrational state is in right now you know the 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 the, the, the vibrational dimension that this plane of existence is uh in or was in you know as it's shifting but the the the, the energy that this plane of existence has been in is not our home and it will become home as we you know uh raise the vibration and start you know doing the works and, and, and you know creating this 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 new earth you know but again i'm not hitting that in stone and saying hey this is what's really really happening i'm just kind of you know that 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 little aspect been floating in the ethers you know through my little pioneer you know and i'm just sharing it on a you know not on no hey this is what it is and how it is but you know just entertaining it in, in some way, form, or fashion, because it, it's starting to show itself, you know, a, a lot within my, you know, within my little clear, clear cognizant thoughts. There's a lot of it, uh, you know, it's coming up a lot. <laughs> but uh, also, it assists with low sex drive and other sexual related energies, so it helps to heal the re reproductive organs. It also heals infertility, uh, menopausal symptoms, uh, menstrual cramps and prostate disorders. So, you know, it helps uh, heal on a physical level, help de uh, heal the reproductive organs, you know, uh, and again, it helps, helps to, uh, you know, when we got this low sex drive, or, you know, we, we feeling disconnected from sex or not comfortable with sex, Shiva Lingam would be a great crystal to work with. As a matter of fact, and I also spoke about like how Carnelian and uh, Snowflake Obsidian is uh, great for helping to get past trauma you know, from, from the, uh, you know, not just the sacral chakra, but just from the sexual energies in general, you know, uh, within your being, but it, it, it speaks to the sacral chakra mostly, but more so in the, uh, you know, in the uh, women than, uh, than the men, quote unquote. And uh, also in connection with the heart chakra, it helps encourage forgiveness and helps to release judgment towards yourself and others. You know, so that's a little cool aspect, you know, because uh, again, moving up and down, you know, stopping that heart chakra, you know, drawing that connection. So in encouraging forgiveness, releasing judgments towards self and others, and more so releasing judgment towards yourself, because once you release judgment towards yourself, then you're going to, you know, stop holding judgment towards, you know, external situations, you know, as well. Uh, also, it promotes the coming together 
uh, on all levels, like on a community like vibe, you know. So, uh, matter of fact, like the yin and yang energy during sex, you know, like it promotes a, you know, a coming together like a just a community vibe. Like you know, you're gonna have a vibe to be, because again, the sacral chakra deals with us being like you know social or friendly in essence. So you know, it's gonna stimulate that energy and have us being more you know, uh, you know, communal and you know, uh, connected and you know, uh, dealing with each other, like whether it's, you know, dealing with each other, like, you know, like chilling more, socializing more, you know what I'm saying? Like with, with those like, like vibrational beings, you know, and not just with, you know what I'm saying? Of course you're gonna, you know, connect with, uh, cause you know, it's not just like connecting just, of, of course we don't like sit around and go look for somebody who's not vibrating on the frequency that we're on and, and go look to talk to them. But, you know, there's a level where we, we do connect, like we're not always dealing with somebody that's ex vibrating on the same exact frequency, you know, as us. Like some sometimes some people like on different aspects of their growth and, you know, we meant to cross paths even though we may not be vibrating, uh, you know, within that, 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 that same frequency in essence, you know, because to some extent, you know, uh, you are vibrate, or you have some some vibration that's matching up, because that's why you in each other's presence. That's a whole another thing. Let me not go. <laughs> but again, uh, you know, boosting that community vibe, and also boosting the energy of divinity and sacredness. You know, uh, you know, we're just gonna ha have this, you know, this real like kind of again promoting conscious breathing, and when you promoting conscious breathing, you're gonna be more consciously aware of, you know. Uh, you know your uh your spiritual awakening in so many words you know you're going to be more conscious aware of like how you may need to meditate or how you may need to you know step away from a certain person place or thing or you know uh you know how you need to step away from your thoughts you know and uh just all these different aspects it promotes that connection you know like a serene peaceful you know sacred vibe Oh, and matter of fact, and then too, you know, and this is a download. So this is a download from working with the Shiva Langham in essence. And this is my first time even like, you know, basically the first time I heard it was when this shit came to me, you know what I'm saying? But breathing is the air having sex with the earth element. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, you know, that air going in, you know, in a hole, you know, like in. You know, and out. <laughs> you know, but breathing again, because the, the physical body is, you know, like the earth, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure, you know, the earth has some type of cave or some type of hole, you know, somewhere where it actually breathes, you know. Performing that sexual act with the air, you know. But yeah, breathing is basically like air having sex with the earth element, you know. So that's, you know, so again, that's an example of like, the, you know, the type of uh, downloads or insight. Again, like everything dealing with the, the sexual vibes, you know, it starts to like come to you, you know, or some insightful uh, energies. But that's basically it. Shiva Langham, go and get yourself a piece at your local crystal shop. You know, if you're uh, if you're in LA, you know, I, I definitely deal with Tenzin, Tenzin, uh, downtown on Santa Alley, and he also has a spot somewhere else, I think. But uh, Tenzin, uh, Mystic Journeys, my brethren, uh. Daniel or Danny uh, on the boardwalk, uh, not too far from uh, not too far from Rose Ave on the boardwalk. You know, and 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 I mean you know, and wherever you know you can find. I'm just thinking of the little spots that I uh, you know that that I frequent. But yeah, great crystal to work with right now. You know, now is the vibrate, the rate at which we're vibing. That's basically it, y'all. Peace. Peace. Happy now.
Now is the vibrator court. <laughs> not going too far in the past. Not going too far in the future. Right now. Peace, peace.